Hey guys, this is Justin from AndrewMeter.com and today we have a unboxing and first look at two of Trident's new cases in the Aegis series. One for the Nexus 5 and the other for the Nexus 7, second generation. Stay tuned. So first we'll unbox these really fast and then we'll get into the details about just what is special about these cases. Okay, so the first thing that we found was that Trident is nice enough to ship all their cases with um, screen protectors so that your phone is completely safe from all elements including scratches so we'll just not really deal with this for now we'll just focus on the cases so this series of cases has a soft silicone inside that you can put around your phone by itself for just simple protection and then there's also an outer harder shell so that you can have a firm case and strong non-flexible case on your phone so we'll install the Nexus 5 one really fast. And it was as simple as that. We had a chance to talk to Trident at CES while we were there and we really liked their cases. They have a really premium feel, which you can see from here. It's just very clean and very, it's very slim. It's not like some OtterBox cases that are huge and make your phone huge. Let's throw on the Nexus 7 case really fast and then we'll talk about the specs of this case. So now that we've got both cases installed, we can see that these both of these cases form fit the phone tablet perfectly. There's there's supposed to be special dust uh, filters and stuff to keep out all the grime so that you don't take off your case and all of a sudden you have a buildup of dust or anything else inside the phone. It also has the rubber on the front is made so that it doesn't slip off of any type of surface when you try to, uh, if you like, put it down on your dash or something. That's not a great idea. Best example, but you get the point. And then it also because it has the hard shell, it's very drop resistant, very vibration resistant, and it just overall, these cases look really nice. Because of the form factor and the way they're built, they're supposed to be able to slide, the phone is supposed to slide in and out of your pocket so you don't have like the silicon case issue where it gets stuck in your inner pocket. So that's about it for the first hands-on with the cases and the first installation. I'll be using this in my on my devices for the next couple of days and then look forward to the full written review to see my true impressions of the case and if it ends up being too bulky or if it's just just the perfect fit. This is Justin from AndrewMedia.com. Talk to you guys later.